Let's just stick together. So, yes. Where were we? Oh, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. He don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All this goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. I'm sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen. If you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, wow. and Jack out of this mess. To give them a life. It seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davey. Kenny, Sean, Lenny, we have to put an end to this. <coughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get.
Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. <coughs> but I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. <coughs> you should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? 
Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Mill. <laughs> Horrible man. <laughs> now come on, both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Thank God. <laughs> Abigail, you ride mine. Shut up, bitch. Get on, Arthur. Get on. You'll be okay. Fine. Hold up a moment. Arthur, there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. We got Jack. He's safe. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <laughs> You're good women, good people, the best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. 
Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Things we learn. 